ημών, αλλά ρίσε εμά από του πονηρού, ότι σου έστεινε η βασιλεία και η δύναμη και η δόξα του πατρός και του ιού και του αγίου πνεύματο, νυν και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιών να μην. Good evening, everyone. We'd like to welcome you to our webinar. We hope that you all had a, a blessed summer, being healthy and safe. Uh, this is an opportunity for us to reach out to you, to uh, let you know of work that was done to our schools in the last few months since the coronavirus came on and uh, really disrupted uh, our school. Uh, there has been a lot of effort uh, has been done to upgrade as far as uh, security and as also uh, things for putting place to uh, sanitize our buildings. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, School Board Chair Foti Papa Michael for being involved uh, hands on for the last few months. Uh, I'd like to thank as well uh, Helen Karayorgos as well as uh, Betsy Sidaris and Alexander Chongas for being part of the whole process and uh, helping, uh, being there with all of us, trying to prepare for uh, the school opening. We look forward to seeing all of you in our schools and know that uh, we are doing everything in our power to comply with all the city agencies and I think we look forward to seeing your children come back to school. It will be a healthy uh, environment, and I think it will be best for the, for the children to come back to some normalcy in the school. So we look forward to seeing all of you. Have a good evening, and uh, God bless you. Good evening, everybody. As, as Father Nectario stated, we welcome you to this second uh, session of our webinars for informing the parents of our plans in opening our school come the next month. I wanna thank our administration, Mrs. Betsy Sidaris and Alexander Tsongas uh, who were involved in the elementary school. And tonight we'll be addressing the grades four through six uh, to discuss the plans of opening the school on September 10. As Father Nectarius stated, uh, we all worked diligently to put together this plan and uh, prepared our infrastructure uh, for the safety of our children. Uh, Mrs. Sideris will go in detail in tonight's presentation of uh, how we plan to open the school, how we will operate, and the safety measures that we be exercising. I welcome everyone back, and we thank you for your understanding, cooperation, and support, and looking forward to a new school year uh, starting this September. I know we have gone through difficult times during this past several months, but uh, we all have to adhere to the requirements of our uh, health uh, agencies and the government uh, directives that we have been given. And uh, again, we're looking forward to opening the school and welcoming our students back. And with, at this time, I'd like to turn it over to Ms. Betsy Sidaris to make the presentation. And again, thank you. Welcome everybody. I wanna thank Mr. Papa Michael. I know you've been anxiously awaiting this meeting to discuss and ask numerous questions about our reopening plan. We are excited to share it with you this evening. Myself, along with Ms. Tsongas, are so grateful that soon we will see all of your faces and get to meet with you in person. Please understand that our reopening plan is designed with the health and safety of our St. Demetrius students and families and that is our highest priority at this point. We have made changes in our school throughout the system. I wanna thank Father Nick for setting up our call this evening. 
along with Father Nectario for joining us with our opening prayer. I would like to thank Mr. Papa Michael for his support and the great cooperation we have had with Ms. Carioros and Ms. Songas as the middle school coordinator. Over the past few months, the St. Demetrius administration, along with the school board, have been working diligently, planning a smooth reopening with a five day a week in school model, ensuring smaller classes and social distancing. Of course, the health and safety of our students, as we said before, is our number one priority. With enhanced cleaning, disinfecting protocols, we will also implement wellness checks for students and faculty. We have followed the standard policies and the procedures that we feel necessary to assure the safety of opening our school, including purchasing some of the following items to help with that in mind. Uh, we would like to help, we would like to thank the PTA for their financial assistance in helping us purchase all of these items. Each student will have cubicles for each desk. Therefore, once a student is seated at their desk, they may remove their masks periodically and place it on a lanyard which we have purchased for them. Therefore, being that they are younger children, they will not lose their masks or drop them on the floor. So we have purchased the lanyard so that we can keep the masks safe as well. Hand sanitizers and bottles for each classroom, contactless thermometers to monitor temperatures, social distancing guidelines and markers, frequent cleaning of all shared spaces and objects according to the highest standards. Staff has been trained and will continue to be trained for sanitizing and disinfecting protocols. We purchased HEPA virus machines for each classroom. These also will help those students with asthma. So they are not only good for now, they will be good for further down the road. We have masks and shields will be required by all students and staff throughout the day. We know that students have found over the past few months what is comfortable for them, whether it is a mask, the sleeve, anything that covers their nose and mouth. But if not masks are, if they need a mask or a shield, they will be available through the school. We have purchased UV ray sanitizing machines that will be used nightly. As soon as the students leave the school, they will be placed in the classrooms and all classrooms, bathrooms and hallways will be sanitized every evening. Our waxing, painting and cleaning of all of our classrooms and hallways are coming along great. Our rooms are ready and prepared for our students to join us. The day before school, School starts, we will be also, we have an outside company that was recommended to us that will sanitize all of the areas before our school begins. As for our curriculum, it will stay the same. We will use Go Math, Journeys, Fusions, and Houghton Mifflin Social Studies series. All books have been ordered at this point. It may take, it took some time for NISTO funding to come down, but we received it and the books have been ordered. We will also, once again, we're happy to announce that we will have Title I services for those students who need a little boost in all subject areas. I know each year many parents ask about this program and it goes according to where you live and students in need. So we are very happy to say that we once again have been able to get that service. Um, as far as state testing, I know a lot of um, the fourth, fifth and sixth graders are a little nervous. Um, we have not yet received word as to if they will, we will have the state testing this year. As far as everyday activities, we are going to try to make the day as normal as possible in such unnormal times that we have. We highly suggest that your child brings his or her lunch in a disposable bag so it could be thrown out each day. Teachers will be rotating classes, not the students, um, especially art and Greek. Um, there will be no computers for the first few months in school. Um, I know one of our opening plan statements was for the children to bring their own devices. Please note that that was for the older grades. Um, and later in October, for the older grades. We do not want the younger students to bring their devices to school. Specials such as Greek dance, phys ed, and Greek music will take place outside weather permitting. This way we get the best of both. They will be able to be outside and they will also get their specials in. Um, we will make every attempt to use every outside space as often as possible. Uniforms. We've discussed along with Ms. Songas that due to the material on the uniforms, we are asking that students wear their summer uniform, which is the white polo, blue skirt, blue skirt, or shorts for the first few months so that they can be cleaned a lot easier and nightly. Um, complete school uniform will be worn, but on specific days and when we have church. Those days we will send home notices letting you know which days those days we can use with their school uniforms. Online learning. We had a few number of students that are asking for online learning. Um, as the school, we are opening five days a week. We are currently working on a schedule for those students who would like remote learning. At this time, we only have two or three students per grade level. 
um, we will reach out to those parents um, and discuss a more in-depth detail with them. Students, however, will not be able to change back and forth from the online format into the in-classroom format due to the social distancing and our class sizes. Um, they will have to make a decision again in November when our first semester is our first quarter is over, and that's when they will make it be able to make a decision if they would like to come back into the school. Um, we are not offering a hybrid learning, meaning some days in school, some days home. If you choose online learning it is five days a week at home. If you choose in school, it is five days in school. Um, however, if you do choose online learning and your child receives DOE services, it might be very difficult for them to receive their services online if the school is open full time. Um, so please be sure you before you make the decision to go online that you speak to your um, providers and make sure that they will be offering online um, support systems for your child. This is very important. Please note, we previously noted that all students will need to be tested before returning to school. After numerous discussions with health professionals, the following rules will be put in place. We ask, we ask that you please take the following rules serious in order for our school not only to open, but to remain open. We have done everything we, have, we can possibly do to assure your child's safety. We ask for your help as well. Now, more than ever, we ask that if your child has a fever or a heavy cough, please leave them home and get them checked. This is not just for us as a school, but it's also for you, your children, your classmates, and also all of your families. If you have traveled out of the country or to any of the 31 hotspot states, students will need to be tested and quarantined for 14 days. If you have not left the state, or country, we are leaving it to the discretion of your pediatrician. All students will, however, need an updated medical exam as always. Results can be brought to the office or they can be mailed to Vaso or Aunt Misana. If you have not traveled out and your pediatrician chooses not to test your child, we ask that you please write a letter to the school and state that you have not left the country or you have not left the state. Therefore, we have it on our records that you have stayed within the boundaries and have not been in, in contact with anybody with COVID-19. We will send you a sample letter um, this week and you can either print it and sign it or you may write a letter of your choice as to um, that you haven't been out of the state or the country. The elementary school starts on Thursday, September 10th. It will be a full day. We will stagger the times for the entrances in the morning. Sixth grade will come in at eight o'clock, fifth grade at 8.15, and fourth grade at 8.30. This will allow the teachers a special time to be able to place your child in their classroom. However, as other years, according to the CDC and the DOH rules, parents will not be able to come in the building. We apologize for any inconvenience, however, um, we have been told and we have been given letters that parents need to stay on the outside instead of coming into the building. Um, schedule going forward, um, school will begin at 8 o'clock. Students will be dismissed at the following times from the front door, not the corridor. Teachers will dismiss the grade levels in the middle school area from the middle school doors one class at a time in order to give more timing for those students to, for your parents to pick them up and to be able to take them so that we are not um, all clustered in one area. We ask kindly that you register as soon as possible in order for us to set up each class and be ready to go on the first day. Classrooms will be arranged to promote social distancing to the maximal extent feasible. We will listen and we will learn from this experience and we will adapt to daily circumstances that occur to, the meet, to meet the needs of all of our students and staff. At the St. Catharines campus, as far as daily schedule, we are going to stagger dismissal at the gate per class in order to avoid a large gathering at the school doors. I say that because I know many parents that are on this evening also have students at the, on the St. Catharines campus. So most of the guidelines are all of the same. We are doing temperature checks each morning, not only for the staff, but for students. The first few days, Ms. Anna and Ms. Vasa will be located outside for payments or any questions that you may have. 
A folder will also be sent home with on the first day with important information that your child will bring home with all of the curriculum and any paperwork that you will need to fill out or answer for your students. When students come to school in the morning, they will go to their designated area, which will be marked off for social distancing. We purchase fun shapes to make, the, to make it as child-friendly as possible. We are presently working on a room for those students to come to school earlier. Lockers in the middle school. Students will be using the lockers in the classrooms. They will use every other locker and will be called up to go to their locker so they are social distanced. The nurse. We will once again have a DOH nurse with us. Next to the nurse's room, this year for the first time, we had to also add an isolation room. Um, so construction was done to add an isolation room. If your child has a fever, the child will be picked up from that area once the parent arrives to pick them up. As far as buses, we have not gotten any information about public school busings at this point. At this point. Lunch. We will try to make a lunch schedule so that all students will be able to go to the cafeteria with social distancing. If there are too many students per grade level, then they will eat in their classrooms. Our goal is to make the day as normal as possible without sacrificing safety. I spoke to the district yesterday and the hot lunch service will be serving cold sandwiches and salads instead of warm meals in a grab and go format. They will have a small bag for them. They pick up the bag, they go to their tables and they eat um, as usual. Um, Class trips and assemblies, as all of you know, um, will not be occurring at least in the first few months of school. A school calendar will be will be posted shortly. It will inform you of all of our days off. Of course, our calendar will look a little empty this year because of course, all of the assemblies and any activities um, will be pushed off until we are allowed to open up the doors for that. I know all of you asked and we're looking for the supply list. We have them on um, Facebook and also on the website. Um, I know on the on the paperwork, it says Purell and Clorox wipes. Um, we understand that they're very difficult to find. We were very fortunate that before we closed, we had bought a few cases of those things. So please, I'm asking you do not spend $15 on a box of Clorox or on a Purell. We have that in the school. Um, if you find them, that's great. If you don't, please don't stress over finding those two items. Also, we ask that you do not bring in all of your supplies the first day. We will give you a small list as to what supplies to bring each day. That way it's, it's easier for the child to bring them to school each day because when they bring all of their supplies at once, we know you have to help them with it and we respect that. So we will give you a list as to which days to bring which supplies. After school will be, all, will be available and after school activities and extra help will be scheduled. A letter will be sent home within the first week as far as what the schedule might be. Um, as we go, I know I've mentioned numerous times that parents will not be allowed in the building. However, you are very important to us. Um, and so is our PTA. The PTA is a very prominent organization in our school. And as you can see, we were able to purchase many items through, the, through this organization. We need you. If you have time, we ask that you please volunteer to help our PTA. During the first few weeks of school, you will receive a nomination form to run for PTA. An election will follow at a later date. If for some reason we need to close the school, the administration and technology team, Ms. Gibbs, Mr. Savro, Mr. Tiliakos have decided on a new platform called Schoology. This learning system has per been purchased to change, to, to replace Chalkable. The system will enhance learning both in school and at home. It will be a live lesson platform where students will be online from nine to one, a regular school day. We recently sent home a sample copy of what the schedule would look like. Please know that we are deeply committed to ensuring that our school continues to provide a loving, nurturing, and academic environment with social emotional learning and mental well being of our students as a priority. This is why we are pleased to announce that we hired Mr. Spiro, our counselor, full time in order to speak to the students and help them better acclimate to the new school year and students' concerns. Mr. Spiro has been with us for over 10 years as part time. We thank the community for the decision to have Mr. Spiro full-time, especially in this time of the pandemic. Our school will also follow the CDC and DOH guidelines that if any student tests positive for COVID, that classroom must go into quarantine for 14 days. If a teacher tests positive, all the classes that, have, that she has been in must go online learning. As we were out, must go on online learning. 
most uh, as we were out of school, the buildings did not stay stagnant. We purchased safety films for the windows of the elementary school, renovations of the restrooms and the classrooms in the main building on the St. Catharines campus, new roof and shingles for the preschool building, special security lock jams for the doors of the middle school and classrooms, the intercom system in the middle school, painting, waxing, and other maintenance concerns are in the process of completion as we speak. Some people that also mentioned that they did not receive the messages that we have sent throughout the summer. Please check your TADS account and be sure that your email is correct on the TADS account. You can call the office if your email has changed or contact Laureate Admissions. Financial aid. Throughout the years, we have given financial aid to numerous parents that have approached the school and or the community. This past year, we've, we gave a 10% discount to parents for the months of April and May. If you paid in full, you will have a credit forwarded to your tuition payment this year. You can still reach out to Laureate Admissions if assistance is needed. Please note that you must pay last year's tuition before you are able to register your child for this year. You can also reach out to Laureate anytime at admissions at sdprep.org. I'm going to go through some of the questions that were sent us um, through the online things. Um, what will the average class size be? We anticipate the average class size being between 12 and 15 students. Is there a hybrid learning available? No. We will offer five day a week remote, five days a week in school or remote learning. For pre-existing health conditions, immediate family members who face medical issues or travel concerns. So hybrid is half in, half out. We will not be offering that type of learning. How will classes be scheduled? Um, the teachers will travel to the classrooms. The students will not be traveling, except for those that will be outside in the, caf in the um, parking lot or outside on the steps so that they can um, do Greek dance, Greek music, and gym. We did with lockers. Um, will there be extra ac curricular activities? As we said earlier, um, any of the ones from the PTA usually start in October. Um, any extra help, you will get a schedule as to extra help for any middle school student. Great schedule. And they start in and they're asking. So it's eight o'clock. Can you clarify the dress code for the beginning of the year? The white polo shirt that is part of their summer uniform um, with the skirt or the blue skirt or the blue shorts. Um, thank you for your question. Um, the fourth grade schedule. Um, the first day they will be coming in at 8.30. Every other day they will be coming in at 8 o'clock. Fifth grade this month. Fifth grade dismissal will be at 2.50. Third grade dismissal will be at three o'clock. I understand that some of you have students on both campuses. Um, please note, you can pick up the student at either one and be sure that we will make sure that your child is in a safe place until you're able to get to either one of the locations. Um, we've done that in the past and we will continue to do that for you. That's, we wanna be here for you. We're doing the best we can to make sure that we can reach everybody um, to the best of possible. Our goal is to make everybody happy, but to stay safe at the same time. Sixth grade, they're dismissed. Sixth grade will also be, it will be dismissed at 2.55. Okay, we answered that. Sixth grade. Sixth grade um, will be coming in at eight o'clock again and we'll be leaving at 2.55. Fourth grade dismissal, 245. Let me see if I have any other questions that were asked before the meeting started. Yes, anything that has been discussed today, um, the video will be located on our webpage, as well as any of the conversations and questions and answers that we have, we have gotten before.
They will all be once after the first day, the first day, the students will be staggered coming in only because it's their first day. We want to place them in their right classrooms. Um, after that, all classes will be coming in at eight, but dismissal will be staggered. The teacher will go from classroom to classroom to dismiss them in order to make sure that they come out safely. How soon will gym start? Um, gym will most likely start in probably the second week of school. We start on a Thursday. Give us Thursday, Friday, most likely by Monday, they will be starting to go outside for gym. First grade and pre-K dismissal. Uh, let me see. Will we be attending church at all this year? Um, yes, you asked about church. Church is also very important to us. Um, we probably won't have a set day at the beginning. We might do grade by grade. Um, in order to um, social distance. As you all know, we are a Greek Orthodox community based on our faith and our religion. So therefore, of course, that that is one of our standards that we have always kept. They will go to church, um, but we will self distance and be able to do grade by grade instead of all classes together. Fourth grade. Okay. Uh, dismissal for fourth grade will begin at 2.55. Um, and as they get ready, the class teachers will bring them out to the front gates for you, to the front doors for you. 2.45, right? No, after the no. 2.45 is the first day. This is after the first day. The first day will be 2.45. Maybe we should keep there. Okay. Um, then I'll come. Where's that at? How long will summer uniforms be worn? Um, at least the first three months of school. Two ways of privacy follow DOE references. Yes, we do follow the DOE um, reference to student teach if a student or a teacher does become positive, yes, we must follow the 14 day quarantine for both staff and for also the students. Mm. How many fifth grade classes? Um, we are still waiting um, for the fifth grade classes. How many students? We are still waiting registration. We have numerous parents who have told us they are coming, but um, at this time, registration is not. It looks as of right now, we are having two classes. Early drop off. Or early drop -off um, we said earlier we are going. We're finding an area right now that we are able to keep the students. Um, if you need early drop off, please touch base with the secretary in your school and let them know at what time you'd like to come in because we need to keep different rooms at different times so that we are able to social distance at all time. But we will once again um, open their doors earlier, and for those parents who need to go to work or need to, I know we have a lot of public school teachers, so we will open our doors early enough so that you will be able to get to your jobs on time as well. Uh, fourth grade class size at this point it will be 12 to 15 depending on the size of the room um, we have set up the rooms um, for social distancing so it's usually between 12 and 14 will they be after school yes there will be an after school service um, if the start is non-covid related will the teacher still quarantine um, if the child does not have covid 19 that we will not need to quarantine, but they need to be tested. If they come with a fever or if they have a fever, they must be tested. That way we know. Um, once again, we ask you now, as of any time, I know a lot of you look at me and say, oh, Mr. Darris's letter is coming home again. Um, please, now more than ever, please be cognitive if your child does have fever. Please um, understand that this is for the safety of everybody. Um, which online platform will we be using from now on? Uh, Schoology. Our teachers have all been trained and we have additional training this week um, for the Schoology transfer, which is a live platform. Will a few online learners be using live lessons during class? Um, for those of you that are asking if online learners will have live classes during class time or recorded class time, um, we are looking at the schedule right now due to the fact that there are a minimum amount of students for each grade level. Um, we are working on that now. Will parents be directed during the show of where they can wait? Yes, absolutely. They are waiting outside. We will have markers for every grade level as to where 
we, you will pick up your child. We will also be staggering every grade level leaving the building so that you can pick up your child at the gate. And we ask that you kindly um, disperse as soon as possible, only so that we can continue to keep everybody safe and in a great environment. If we have no COVID, um, good question. If we have no COVID, but the public schools do and they close, what does that include us? Um, the only way it would include us is if a sibling is in a public school and their classroom closes, you must alert us so that the sibling's classroom may also have to um, quarantine. However, if the public school closes for any reason and the New York State schools stay open, we will keep our doors open. This is why it's so important. This is why it's so important to understand that we need to keep everybody healthy. We want to keep our doors open. We want to see you. Um, as far as teachers, people, um, parents are asking who are the teachers in each grade level. At this point, as we said, a lot of the, you know, we have a lot of registrations. However, we have heard from numerous people that they are they haven't registered yet and they are coming. So um, we aren't sure of which teachers will be in which grade levels at this point due to the fact that we need to know certain amounts before we can announce which classrooms the teachers will be teaching. Somebody asked about keyboards for computer class, will they be sanitized? Three, um, for the first few months, the elementary school will not be going to computers on the St. Catharines campus. Um, if they do go to computers in the middle school, they will be sanitized immediately after each class. For pre-testing, which COVID tests do the students need to do? If you have not left the United States or you have not gone to any one of the 30 hotspot states, the pediatrician will do the blood work, but they will not do the swabbing test. So if you've left this country and you have left have been in any one of the 31 hotspots, you must do the swab test and also the, uh, the antibody test. We require parents and school students to... We, um, before the students come? Do the fourth grade parents get to tour the school or no? Um, at this point, um, if you come before school starts, you can look around the building, um, but they are still in the middle of making sure everything is sanitized and cleaned. Maybe we can do a virtual tour for you so you can see also how it's getting set up. Um, you can call and speak to Ms. Tsongas or myself, and we will arrange for something if you'd like to do that. The fourth grade is on the main floor as soon as you walk in the building of the middle school. Thank you very much, Ms. Gutavas. We appreciate your comments. Lunch and cafeteria. Um, at this point, the students will, we are trying to let the students eat in the cafeteria, um, depending again on the grade level and the amount of students in each grade level. It will be cleaned between each lunch period. Um, as we said before, cafeterias, bathrooms, classrooms will have air purifiers in them. Those who also have the air conditioning, all of the um, filters have been changed um, to make sure that they also are cleanly. Um, um, the fourth grade will be on the main floor. As you walk in the middle building, they the classrooms are on the main floor. Um, online learners, uh, we have the list of those who asked for online learning. I will be touching base with you as 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 will Miss Songas um, to reach out to you and explain to you how online learning will work for those students who choose to stay home. Will the student children get to talk to each other? The reason we we've, we've ordered the um, plexiglass clear. Um, cubicles for each student is so that they can see their friends, that they can talk through their friends. Um, we are making the best we can to be able to make sure that your child will come to school and not only come to school, but be happy here and feel like they're safe, but also feel that they have the warmth of the same environment they were used to. So we are trying our best. Is the cafeteria in the auditorium? Yes. 
the cafeteria is located. Well, they have two cafeterias in the middle school, which is one is in the main cafeteria, which is the auditorium, and one is also in the back room. So they will split them up so that we will be able to we will be able to social distance. With the plexiglass, so they still have to wear their mask. Once they get behind their plexiglass and the teacher begins to teach, they may drop their masks. As we said before, we bought them lanyards so they can hold on to them in front of them so that they aren't on the floor or anywhere else. So we will definitely um, allow them to drop their masks while they are behind the cubicles. That's the reason we bought each individual cubicle instead of buying them around um, in each line. The teachers actually at this point um, will be wearing shields um, only so that the students can see their faces, can, can see their, their um, mouth in case to help them understand what the teachers are saying. Parents understand. Yes, the windows will be open and that's a better way for, for the air to circulate. Thank you very much. Um, I'm trying to get to everybody's questions. Thank you so much for being a part of this. Um, even though we can't see you, I know you can see us and we are so excited um, to have everybody back again. Okay. Um, a parent just asked if they can bring in uniforms um, to share with others. Yes, as long as they have been cleaned. We, um, we do help other students who cannot afford to buy their uniforms or even those who've outgrown them over the summer. Um, so that will be available for parents. Are there any rules for the bathrooms? How many students are allowed at a time? Um, the restrooms will be different this time than any other time. They will be allowed, um, especially in the corridor, we don't want them to go by themselves, so they will be allowed two at a time. Um, one will stay on the outside as the other one goes in, and then they will walk back to the classroom. I understand the drop-off. The drop-off is eight fifth grade. Time to classes actually start. What time was what? For drop-off is at eight. Fourth grade? Yeah. 8 to 8.15 is homeroom? 8 to 8.15 is homeroom, and classes will begin at 8.15 with the opening prayer and the Pledge of Allegiance. Um, once again, we're asking for teachers. As we said before, we need to see how many students per grade level before we can announce any of the staff at this point. Are the students have to wear shields? Um, the students will only have to wear masks, not masks and shields. Uh, students will only have to wear their masks, not masks and shields, but they will have the cubicle around them so that that way they have a little more fresh air to be able to breathe in. When will after school take place? Um, when are you gonna start after school? Thursday, we'll, we're looking into actually the, also the HANIC program to see when it will start. Um, so you will get a letter that day, first day of school, to tell you when after school will take place. Be on. Yes, anything that we have said to this evening as far as schedules, we will write the schedules down, we will type everything up for you, and you will find it on both our website and also on our Facebook page, as well as the conversation that we're having this evening will also be located in those areas. Please repeat class start times. Fifth grade starting time eight, um, is 8.15. They come in between 8 and 8.15 is homeroom. 8.15 classes start for all grades, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Sixth grade classes to protect. At this time, um, we, we're looking at two classrooms for each grade level. Pre-K supply list. Um, we have orientation next week at some point for pre-K and preschool. At that time, we will give you that supply list um, because I want to discuss it with you a little further about each one of the items that are on the list. As far as the crayons and glue and everything else, we purchased that from the school. 
um, only the individual things that you would need to bring. Um, so we can discuss that next week in our in our um, session. Will the middle school be able to wear their gray skirt? Yeah, the gray which skirt. Grade? Which grade is it? Uh, which grade is the great? The middle school just says. Do they have a gray skirt? No, they have the plaid uh, skirt. It's either the black, the plaid skirt, or the blue skirt or skirt, for the middle school. Um, thank you, Mr. Grizelis, for your kind words. Sixth grade is gray. Mm. Not. The, the website will have the exact same information as the Facebook page will. Fifth grade, the first day of school is the 10th. Everybody's first day of school is the 10th from kindergarten until sixth grade. September 10th is your first day of school. And it is a full day. Is there going to be an orientation? Um, orientation usually takes place about two weeks after school begins. Um, we will probably try to do it in the same format in which we're doing today, maybe a more um, um, personalized, but we will have orientation at the same time we approximately have had it every other year. An absolute confidence in our school. Thank you. I have absolute confidence in our school. I ordered... In order to be success, these parents, oh, they need to let everybody do what they need to do and not loiter outside. We thank you for your comments. Um, we love having you around, but this year more than ever, you need to be a little more patient with us. We will be more patient with you because we know it's not going to be as easy as it always is. Pre-K first day of school, September 15th. We'll have that, we will have that meeting next week along with the school list. We notice some will work, but this must be completed. If so, when is the due date? Um, you're going to make it for that Monday. We can put one's a Monday. Um, Monday the 14th will be um, the home. There's homework listed for summer homework. The date will be um, Monday, September 14th. What's the read? Uh, reading program for grade four is the same program that we've been, we use from grades from kindergarten up until six, which is called Journeys. Journeys incorporates all of the writing series, phonics, grammar, spelling. Um, it's a comprehensive learning um, learning tool. At this point, we'd ask, will children leave backpacks and jackets? Will their belongings be with them at their desks or keep them to keep them social distance? We are looking into um, to get individual tubs for the students to be able to put their things in next to them. Um, in the middle school on this campus, they also have the lockers, so they will be placed in the lockers, which again, when the classrooms are sanitized, as will the lockers be. Um, at the younger grades, we're looking into little cubbies to put next to their desks in order for us to be able to keep them next to them so they aren't, all the coats aren't together and all the school bags are not together. Thank you for that question. I didn't um, cover that before. In orientation, do you see anything else? Day, right? Yes, correct. The first day of school is a full day. Do we need to make an appointment to drop off summer homework? What is the procedure? You don't have to um, make an appointment to drop off summer homework. You send it with your child. If you're doing online learning, once again, I will speak to you this week, as, as, as will Ms. Tsonga speak to those students um, who are doing online learning so that we can find out exactly what type of online learning you're looking for. Uh, sixth grade, where will sixth grade classrooms be located? They also are located on the main hallway um, in, the middle, in the middle school as you walk in. Do fifth grade need to empty the lockers to be disaffected? No. The books and everything, it does not affect the books. It is a UV ray sanitizer. Therefore, it does not have any type of, we needed to look into something because we have students with asthma, we have students with allergies. So the two products that we purchased are, um, are helping also with the asthma and also the UV rays do not spray anything. It's UV rays that kill and sanitize the classrooms and all the, all the hallways. So therefore, it will not bother anything that's inside the lockers. Um, will classroom doors be left open to limit touching of the doors? We do have small sanitizers. Um, most of the time the doors are open anyway. 
However, if there is a time they need to be closed, um, we do have sanitizer um, for the door handles. Can students bring their own lunch instead of the bag lunch provided? Absolutely. Um, you could bring your own lunch. We do ask at this time, at least until the first few months, that you bring it in a brown bag so that they can throw it out immediately instead of taking around their lunch boxes wherever they go. Um, so yes, of course you can bring your own. I see your questions. Um, is anything else? Did I miss any further? Thank you. Signing off. <laughs> See you on the tenth. <laughs> do students get snack time? Um, are they getting? Do they get snack meals? You gotta be careful with that. Um, we will put that in your in your opening folder that you'll be receiving. It will be in there. All of the information will be there. Yes, we do suggest that the students do carry their own water bottle. Um, we have been informed from the DOH um, that the water fountains should be shut off. Although we have a great water fountain in the middle school um, that you do put your bottle there, um, which will need to be sanitized after every child puts their bottle there. But yes, um, you bring your own water bottles. We, we actually suggest that. Well, Greek school and after school weekends have separate designated classrooms. Um, at this time, we aren't sure. Um, most likely they will be using the same classrooms. However, they will be sanitized once again after the afternoon school has left the classrooms. Um, how many times a day will the fourth grade be able to go to their lockers? Um, arrival and dismissal. And that way it'll keep from all of the gathering at the lockers. Do we know who's teaching fourth grade yet? As we said before, the teachers were waiting to see which grade levels we will be moving around to make sure that we have enough teachers to be sure each classroom has a teacher. Nice to see all of you too. Hopefully we'll get to see you. We didn't get to see you. We hear from you, but we didn't get to see you. We are really looking forward to seeing everybody again. When is tuition payment due? Will we receive a bill for payment? Tuition is due on the 5th of every month. Um, you do not receive a bill, but you will get a message if you don't pay your tuition. So tuition payments are due September uh, every 5th of the month. Um, and there is not a bill that is sent out. Um, you have between the 5th and the 10th. Um, so... If you don't pay, you will get a you will get a response from that. If you do pay, then that's when you need to pay. Locks for lockers. Uh, yes. Do we need to purchase a lock for the lockers? Yes. The lockers will be locked at the end of the day. Do we have any other questions? Ms. Fungus, you want to say good afternoon, evening to everybody? Hi. <laughs> Ms. Songus and I, as all of you know. Um, in November, I'll be starting my 35th year at St. Demetrius. So this is not only a job, this is, this is my lifestyle. So along with Ms. Songas, please, if there's anything we can do to help you, we're here for you. Our job is to make sure that your children come here in a safe environment, a warm environment, but in a learning environment. Please know that we always have your children in the front line. Which one? Ninth grade getting discharged, dismissed at 2 p.m. and then the other child dismissed at 2:50, awaiting. Um, Miss Carriero was mentioned yesterday in the um, in her message that there will be somewhere when there is staggering dismissal, there will be somewhere that they will designate for the student who gets out earlier to wait for the second uh, sibling to be dismissed. Um, previous message, could you please inform us for the 12th grade? I didn't see one for 12th grade. Um, Ms. Carriorgos had a seminar yesterday, a webinar. It will be located on the webpage if there are any questions for 12th grade. If you have any specific questions for 12th grade, um, please call the office at any time. Ms. Carriorgos and Ms. Carriorgos, myself and Ms. Tongas are in our office starting every day from nine until the four, 
sometimes later, but someone's <laughs> laughing in the background because we're still here. <laughs> so please note that anytime you call, I'm sure someone will be there available to answer any questions that you may have. I apologize. I'm not sure what the 12th grade question is, but I am guaranteeing you, Ms. Carriotos, will be able to answer that question. I think that's it. I hope all of you are happy with the answers that we've given you this evening. Please know that it's just not answers. Oh, where were the website? On the, it will be on the St. D. Prep website. Please know that these are not just words. Our goal is to make you happy and your children happy. This is a St. Demetrius family, and it was missed very much last year when we had to leave um, without knowing really what hit us. So we are waiting. Our arms are open wide. All right, not too close, but we're going to open our arms wide waiting for you. We thank you for entrusting us with your children another year. We look forward to taking care of everybody. And if there's anything you need, we're here for you. Thank you and have a great night. And Mr. Papa Michael's going to speak. Thank you, uh, Ms. Sedaris, and thank you, Ms. Thomas. Uh, as you've heard, uh, we try to uh, be as responsive as possible, providing you the information that we needed to give tonight. And again, as the citizens point out, you can view everything on the website and feel free to reach out to the school with any more questions that you may have. We all here to accommodate and be responsive to your needs. And again, we thank you. We're looking forward to welcoming our students back in the school starting September 10th for the middle school. And tomorrow is the third webinar that will be addressing for grades K through third. And Mr. Darius will be presenting on that as well. So uh, again, thank you and God bless you and good night. Good night. Father. I thank you all for joining us this evening. Um, I think from yesterday, we've gotten a lot of positive responses from parents being uh, gracious for these webinars, but also coming to understand uh, how much effort has been placed on this reopening process. And a tremendous work has been done. And I think we've gotten a lot of positive remarks. And uh, we've seen a lot of people, uh, families coming to register. So we do look forward to seeing you in person and walk me back to our uh, St. Dimitri School. I'd like to thank once again for Betsy and Ms. Tongas for presenting this evening and giving us uh, the details. May God be with you and may God bless you and look forward to seeing you when school opens on September 10th. Have a good night. Good night.